Well, that sure was fun to watch. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Phillies Hot Stuff Videocast, and today we're going to be recapping the first game of the doubleheader between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins as the Phillies defeated the Marlins by a final score of 11 to nothing as we shut out the Miami Marlins. Aaron Nola pitches a complete game, striking out 10. He was fantastic. This win felt so good, so good. First of all, we got these Miami Rollins team that keeps kicking us around. It's so nice to just pounce on them and beat them 11 to nothing. It just feels so good. It, it felt so good. Now, the second game just ended, which wasn't the result I'm hoping, I was hoping for. That video will be up tomorrow morning. We recap in tonight's game. It just ended. Again, wasn't the result I was hoping for. Obviously, I'm sure you can assume what the result was. It was not what I was hoping for, as, as I said. But the first game, that was a different story, man. The first game was unbelievable. As I said, Aaron Nola's first complete game in his career, of his career. And it was a seven-inning game, so it wasn't a nine-inning game. But it's technically, that was the first complete game of his career. And it was amazing. His curveball, fantastic. Fantastic. Man, that guy, he's just so good. When he's on, he's on. He is on. And uh, our offense was great today. Reese Hoskins with a big home run again. He continues to, you know, stay hot. I mean, I know he's only been going like, you know, one for four. Uh, you know, he's batting in the, around the 250s, 260s, but he's just staying around there. He's been around there, you know, the past, uh, you know, 20 games or so. You know, like, he's, he's getting more consistent, right? So I, I love it, man. Great performance. The Phillies were all out in the first game of this doubleheader. Now guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn on the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Let's start the scoring summary in the top of the third inning. Andrew McClutchin. Homer's on a line drive to left field, a two-run shot, his sixth of the season, and the Phillies take a 2-0 lead. Andrew McClutchin comes through again. That was awesome. And then Gene Segura, Siggy. Doubles on a line drive to left field, a two RBI double that scores Hoskins and JT, and the Phillies now take a four to nothing lead. Then in the top of the fourth inning, Adam Hazley singles on a ground ball to right field. Goose comes around to score, and it's now five nothing Phils. That was nice to see Adam Adam Hazley. He's been battling some health issues, man. He's been banged up. It was nice to see him go out there and get that RBI single today. Uh, it was nice to see him play today. Man, I like Adam Hazley a lot. Man, yeah, I, I I really really like Adam Hazley. Then Andrew McClushin does it does it again. Singles on a line drive to left field. Alec Bohm scores, and the Phillies now take a six to nothing lead. This was great. This was great. This game was just awesome. And then we continue to pile it on as Reese Hoskins with a big free run home run to left field. His 10th of the season, and the Phillies now take a 9 to nothing lead. That was awesome. Reese Hoskins, when he's on, he's on. Another guy, when he's on, he's on. He has been great. His power number, he's starting to be Reese Hoskins. He's hitting the ball to the ballpark. He's getting extra base hits. His slugging is getting a lot better. He's still managing to get on base a good amount. He has been great. He has been great. So... I love to see that. And then at the top of the fifth inning, Alec Boehm just continues to rake. Man, I love this kid. I love what he brings to the table. He has been great since coming up to the big leagues. I'm a huge fan of Alec Boehm. Huge fan. Six double the season. A sharp ground ball to left field. Didi scores. And it's now 10-0 Phillies as the Phillies just continue to pile it on. And in the same inning, Adam Hazley got that RBI single earlier. He does it again. Doubles on a sharp line drive to right field this time. Alec Bohm scores, and the Phillies now take an 11 to nothing advantage. You know what I love out of this game? I love that Adam Hazley was able to drive in some runs. I love that Alec Bohm was able to continue to stay hot. I love Alec Bohm. Okay, this guy has just been great. I, again, I can't express enough how much this guy, how important he is for our future. He's a cornerstone, uh, cornerstone guy at third base to the, for this future of this team. Future of this team, man. I, I, this guy, I don't. He's no bust in my opinion. He has been great. He's been a hitting machine. When we need someone, he's Johnny on the spot, man. 
We need we need a big hit. He's there. He is there. And it's 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 so refreshing to see him play because he's such a young guy, and, and we don't really get to see that much because you know what the Phillies we just can't really develop that much. Where our de player development is not very good, but it's so nice to see Ogbon play. It is amazing, and even Adam Hazley having a good night in the first game. I mean, so. It was awesome, man. And as I said, Hoskins continues to rake, man. Hit the ball to the ballpark. I love it, man. Just keep it up, Reese. Reese be Reese. Andrew McCutcheon continues to rake out of the leadoff spot. He gets three three hits today, three for four in a day. Uh, Hoskins with a nice two for four performance. Now I want to bring up something that isn't real positive right now, and that is the Bryce Harper situation. Um, rough, man. I mean, like, can this guy not catch a break? I mean, hit a ball, like, I thought it was out. I mean, he, like, I, I, off the bat, it looked like it was gone, and boy, I feel like he just missed it. I was texting Dylan about a Phillies updates, and he said, you know what, that ball would have been out of Citizens Bank Park, and I completely agree. I completely agree. So, that, very, very frustrating for Bryce Hopper. Uh, he just, man, that guy cannot catch a break. Uh, but you know what? He just doesn't. He just doesn't look good at the plate right now at all. He's lost. His batting average has now dropped into the two forties. At the end of this game, it was it sat at two forty six. In the second game, he was able to collect a hit. We'll get into that later. It sat at two forty six. at The end of this game, and still not great. So like, boy, has he fell off. I was talking to another guy. Who that source? If you're watching this video. You made a good point. I haven't had a chance to respond to you yet. I just saw you sent me something a few hours ago, and it said. It's amazing how Harper went from having, he was on track for having one of the best seasons of his career, which I agree with if there was a 162-game season, but this is only a 60-game season. And then now he's like on track to have one, like one of the worst seasons of his career. And it's amazing how fat, he's so streaky, guys, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how streaky Bryce Harper is. Unbelievable. And he's on an all-time low right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's his worst slump since 2016. Harper kind of did this in 2016. He started off real hot, came off his MVP year, started off real hot, and then he totally cooled off. Like, hit, like, 243 in 2016, like, hit, like, 24 home runs. That was 80, what is it, 86 RBIs or something he got that year. It was not a very good year for him. And I mean, it's an above average year, but it's just for him. That's not, we, we need we need more to him. We need more to Bryce Harper. But you know what, guys? We don't really need him right now. You know, because we won 11 nothing in the first game because guys like Alec Bohm, Adam Heasley and Reese stepped it up. That's what it, that, that, that should speak volumes about this team. That should speak volumes about this team. So I love it. I love Alec Bowman, man. That guy, he, he's coming one of my favorite players, man. Aaron Nola, seven strong innings, three hits, 10 Ks. 10 Ks. In seven innings of work. He was fantastic tonight. I, 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 that guy is so good. Can I just say it? That guy is so good good. I, I, he's, just, he's lights out. He's lights out. I mean, he's unbelievable. Unbelievable. His curveball can just continues to just be a success. He, he's just so good with it, man. He, he really is. He knows where to put it, where, you know, when and where he needs to put it. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. He knows when to do it. He knows where to put it. He's just, he's a smart pitcher. He's a very, very smart pitcher and he has good stuff and he knows how to put it together. We have a lot of guys who, on the verge, it, it, they made a few minor adjustments of breaking out. And one of those guys was Nick Favetta. Obviously, I know we don't have him anymore. I, I'm not a Nick Favetta fan, Favetta fan by any means. But that guy does have a lot of potential. That Now, I'm not saying he's going to live up, uh, you know, make that potential reality. Because potential only means so much, as I talk about a lot. But uh, I tell you, Aaron Noll is one of those guys that has been able to put his potential together. And boy, oh boy, is he doing great. Boy, oh boy. And might I add, remember we signed, a, signed him to that extension last year. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, when does he have for free agency? I'm like, well, we just signed him an extension last year. So that's awesome, man. That is awesome. That is great. As Aaron Nola, complete game, shutout, three hit shutout. And he's pitching like a no hitter in like the sixth inning. I mean, he was like, you know, pitching a no hitter. That would have been great to see a no hitter, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. He became, I think he's came close to a couple of no hitters before. I remember in 2018 against the Blue Jays, he almost did it. Uh, I believe that was like in the eighth inning when he gave it up. But Aaron Nola is a machine. He's so good. It's so nice to have another guy in rotation like Wheeler. But, you know, I'm going to talk about Zach Wheeler. So the story is apparently he was putting on his pants 
uh, and his middle finger got caught in the zipper and he zipped it up and he lost his balance and fell and then the zipper slipped up and then cracked his middle finger nail and apparently that's what the story is now that that, that that seems shady to me there's something more to that story very very strange very very strange so now you can't pitch think of all the money we're paying you man like i like zach wheeler a lot like you know me i'm a big wheels fan man like he's been great for us this year like he's been lights out he's been absolutely lights out but like come on like come on there has to be more to that story and now he can't pitch for a few days for, for, for a few days now just because he has a cracked middle finger on his throwing hand so like, like, come on. I mean, that, come on. I mean, that's that's silly. I, there's more to that story. I'm telling you, man. There's more to that story. That's all I'm gonna say. But guys, going back to this game, Aaron Nola gives the bullpen a night off in the first game. Obviously, as I said, we'll get into the second game, you know, tomorrow morning. But the bullpen it didn't do much dividends, unfortunately. But it's still great to see. It's still great to see Aaron Nola. And uh, we've still had some injury problems. Um, you know, I didn't really get to talk about this, but I, uh, Roman Quinn, you know, with the concussion running into the wall, he should be back fairly soon. Jay Bruce, can that guy stay in the field, man? The, the quad, oh my gosh, man, the guy gets hurt all the time. The Phillies designated Neil Walker for assignment today. Uh, Ronald Torres, they recalled Ronald Torres. Don't really understand why we DFA'd the real deal, Neil. I mean, come on, man. Why, he wasn't having a bad year off the bench. I mean, I don't know why Klintak did that. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, Neil's a switch hitter, too. I, I don't really know why we did that. Uh, but nevertheless, he's gone. But, guys, tomorrow morning I'll be recapping the second game of this doubleheader. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn on the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Please check out the social media link in the description section at Philly South Surf Instagram, at Harvard Fanatics Instagram. Call or text 267 225 3392. Email me, Philly's Hot Stove at gmail.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hi, I'm Luke, and I will talk to you all later. Let's go, Phillies. I'll be recapping the second game of the doubleheader. Tomorrow morning, the video will be out before 9 a.m. I have to go to work at 9 a.m., so the video will be out before then. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Good win in the first game of the Phil for the Phils. 11-0. Aaron Nola pitches a complete game shutout. He was fantastic. Alec Bowman continues to rake. I'll talk to you all later. See you guys.